Uh, hello traders, uh, hello traders, uh, good morning, good afternoon, uh, good evening, uh, bonjour, bonsoir, mes amis, uh, good morning, good morning, good morning, uh, for those of you who are new to us, we are the TSTW, S Y S zero zero eight traders. For all trade, we use the 5% uh, money management rules and apply stop loss uh, in all trade. Uh, this video is for educational purposes only. It's neither a solicitation or an offer to buy or sell any financial instrument. It is primarily for the TSTW uh, traders. The title of this video is uh, How to Play the Game of Fibonacci uh, Trading. How to Play the Game of Fibonacci uh, Trading. All right? When traders uh, okay, come across uh, the Fibonacci trading for the first time, all right, I remember the first time when uh, I learned about uh, uh, Fibonacci trading, I was very, very excited. I learned about the 61.8% retracement, all right, projection into the okay, 1 to 7% extension zone. I was very, very excited about it. I also learned about the 38 38.2% Fibonacci retracement level, and then the price will find a support there, and then it will go up to the level of 161% Fibonacci extension zone. I also learn about uh, the crab pattern, the Fibonacci patterns, crab pattern, the butterfly pattern, Gartley pattern, the bat pattern, and I was very, very excited because um, I was looking for something that can work for me that I can use. Uh, but as soon as I start using it, I get into a uh, trouble. I do not know how to play. Okay, the Fibonacci uh, trading game. It's a game. All right, <laughs> traders will try to to buy as at thirty eight point two percent. This is one group of traders. All right. So when they try to pull back to, to after an up move, try to pull back to thirty eight point two percent zone, a lot of aggressive trader will place a trade to buy. Some of them will win, some of them, sometimes, they will lose. Sometimes they probably will pull back to the 50% zone. A trader will just place a trade to buy, and sometimes they will win, sometimes they will lose. This is the game of Fibonacci trading. And there are a lot of traders that are using Fibonacci as Fibonacci trading tools, as a gambling tools. But how do we play, okay, the Fibonacci trading game, all right? Okay, how to trade how to play the Fibonacci trading game, all right? On this chart here, we, the game is still in place, okay? This is another Fibonacci trading game for traders that they are playing this now. You can see that the price went up uh, to this level here, okay? And then the price uh, did pull back, did not hide it. So, like a child, we just go one by one, and then it went up to this level, okay? And then it went down like this, okay? And then it went up now, okay, all the way here. But uh, you can see that uh, uh, this session here, the price went up, went down, but displayed a higher low. That's why I'm saying to you, it went up from here to here. Because when it was going up from here to here, it didn't display a new lower low. So because there was a low followed by a higher low, it's uh, a bullish progression from here to here. But during that time, the price went up a little bit and then pulled back and then went up. But the price went up from here to here. So a lot of this is a Fibonacci setup. A lot of traders will get into trouble by playing uh, uh, this Fibonacci game. So the first game that trader will play is this one. So we will draw the Fibonacci tool. We will say the price pulled back to what? 38.2% uh, Fibonacci retracement level. Fibonacci aggressive traders will say that the price has a high chance. This, uh, okay, dollar yen, okay. You hear even uh, on the on the on the television, okay. A lot of uh, <laughs> traders will come and say that this, uh, okay, dollar yen has a high chance, okay, to go up uh, uh, to the zone of uh, one six one percent Fibonacci extension zone, which is here at. Uh, 118 okay so dollar yen going to the level of 118 all right so i can put a line there just to go into the mind of this trader so 
this is a game. So they will say, there's a group of traders thinking that the price will definitely go there because of this pullback to 38.2% level in relation to this bullish progression here. All right. So how do you play the Fibonacci okay, game? Okay. All right. So where are we now? So there is another group of traders. They will see this. They will say, all right. There was a bullish trend, okay, and then there was a profit taking, but not 100% profit taking. And then the price went up again, up, and then pulled back from what we call ABCD. These are Fibonacci pattern traders, the Gatley pattern traders, the butterfly pattern traders, okay, the bad pattern traders, all right, the crab pattern traders, okay. They are here playing the Fibonacci game. How do you play? The Fibonacci game. All right. So the price here now. Which game are we playing now? Did the the first game change because the price did not go to the one six one percent as we as, as some trader are expecting because it pulled back to thirty eight point two percent. If they did not manage their trade, okay, they, some of them may still be in this trade, but okay, we know that what they are going through their mind. Okay. All right. What I say to traders, the Fibonacci levels are key levels that we need to watch. But when we are using Fibonacci, the best way to play the Fibonacci game is to keep eyes on the price, draw your channels. If it's going to go up, you will be in a rising channel. If it's going to go down, you will be in a declining channel. If it's going horizontal, you'll see in a horizontal channel. If it's consolidating, you'll be in a horizontal channel. So the best way to play the Fibonacci trading game is to use what? The market patterns, not the price pattern, but the market patterns. This will allow you, okay, to play the Fibonacci trading game, okay, successfully. So, right now, as you can see, as I explained to traders at www.dayprotrader.com and also on our YouTube channel, all right, that uh, it's the, our YouTube channel, www.youtube.com forward slash dayprotraders. Go to that channel, subscribe to there, and learn about the Fibonacci pattern, everything about Pitchfork 2, everything about Fibonacci extension, all right? So, we know the pattern, all right? <laughs> we know the pattern for the bearish, okay, Fibonacci pattern. There was a, a prior trend. Where is it? This one, from here to here. There was a prior trend. What we will label SA, letter X for X-ray, so this point here we call it X for X-ray. This point here we call it A for alpha. The XH should, is a profit taking. Shouldn't be 100% profit taking, which means the price should not cancel the prior trend. Go to www.youtube.com for slash the pro traders. Watch all the video there. All right? Okay? The SA should not cancel the prior trend. First condition. So here you pull back, we will level this one X. At this point here we call it A. Alright? Now, the Fibonacci pattern, the Fibonacci pattern is starting from X right here. So we will measure now the retracement of uh, this move here. This point here we call it A. This point here we call it B. B for Bravo. So this is A here. It's X for X-ray. This point here we call it A for Alpha. This point we call it... Uh, all right, B for Bravo. If this is a bit complicated to you, go to youtube.com for slash dayprotrader.com. I recorded some video that I posted on YouTube and I go step by step explaining to traders the Fibonacci patterns. So if you want to play the Fibonacci trading game, you must know the Fibonacci pattern, the Fibonacci extension, and the Fibonacci uh, extensions. But to play the Fibonacci trading game without gambling, one must use what? The market patterns, not the price patterns. All right? So as the prime move from A to B, all right, the next thing that the Fibonacci play in the game, okay, there's another group of traders. We draw again another, use the Fibonacci assessment tool. We draw it from here to here. I'm going to, what I'm going to do to have the exact measurement, I will remove this. In fact, what I will do, I will just move it down. So I can uh, draw my Fibonacci investment tool correctly without, uh, okay, fooling myself. Exactly, exactly, okay, exactly. All right, call it exactly like this, okay? 
So we will be watching. So the retrace. So we will see price went down, which is X A. I don't want to spend too much time on this to explain it to you. That's why I'm referring you to our YouTube channel, Day Pro Traders. So or www.dayprotrader.com. The retracement from here, from A, A to B, is went up to the zone of 78.6%. So if the A to B is 78.6% of the XA, the first Fibonacci pattern that is coming to our mind is what? A butterfly pattern. What? Right? Professional know that. You must know it also. It's the butterfly pattern. So we will be thinking over the butterfly pattern. So they did this point here, that's what we call C. So the price will move down from uh, B, B for Bravo, to C. The, the retracement from B to C in relation to A to B. If you don't understand this, you, uh, you, you still need to go to, okay, and refer to what I said to you already. The retracement from B of B to C in relation to A to B is between 38.2% and 88.6%. That's verified here. So here, traders that are playing a Fibonacci game, a Fibonacci trading game, uh, they will be thinking about butterfly pattern. The target for the butterfly pattern, again, which level are they watching? It's the level of a 1 to 7, a Fibonacci extension level. What I'm going to do, I'm going to show you where is the 1 to 7 on this chart. One second, please. I'm going to, get, I'm going to change some of my... I'll change... Uh, the 138 to 127. Moment, please. Are you with me? Stay tuned. Okay. Focus. Okay. All right. One to seven percent. That's the level I'm putting now on my TC2000. Now I can see on my chart. I'm going to draw a line there. This is the level here. That's the first target for the butterfly pattern. If it goes above the 1 to 7, the next target that professional are watching for the butterfly pattern is the 161%. All right? But I will stop here. The level that the professional are watching is the red horizontal line here for a dollar yen at uh, uh, <clears throat> 10677. 10677. You may call it 107, okay? All right? This is where the level that they are watching. But something else, as I explained to you, this is a Fibonacci a trading game, all right? So I have all my line drawn now. I know which pattern professional, a lot of professional, which game they are playing now. The price, as you can see, the price went all the way to the beginning of uh, X, the point X, you see right here? We can put a line there, but I don't want to. X, this is X, this point here is X, A, B, C, D. This point here, that's what we call D for delta. But the target that the professional wants to achieve is the red line here. But as you can see, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, pay attention. The price is finding a resistance here. Why? Now, as the price is going up, but another thing I need to mention to earlier wave traders very fast is that they move. Look at this move. They move from here to here. The price went up, yes or no? But how the price went up? The price went up in three waves. Remember that multi-talented trading is about when we know something, when we learn something, and we are applying one strategy, we don't forget the, the other strategy. So we are talking about Fibonacci. We shouldn't forget what we have learned about Elliott Wave, multi-talented trading. So though the price went up from here, which means the, 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 from C to D, okay, where we are now, the price went up in three waves. Why the price went up in three waves? We know that the impulsive wave is always five. Okay? So, in normal condition, if the price stops here at point uh, where you move in three waves, it, wave, it went one, if the price moves in three moves, all right, for traders who do not understand any wave, one, two, three, and reaches a resistance level, and we receive a signal to sell, we will sell. Let me say this again to you. I don't want the video to be over 20 minutes, so I need to work. I've got only, uh, let's say, five minutes more left. Okay? If the prime move one in three move one, two, three, and reach a very important resistance level, 
and we receive a signal to sell, we will sell because the minimum price move is what? Free. Now, I don't want to complicate this discussion because this is about, uh, okay, the, <laughs> the Fibonacci trading game. So as we are playing a Fibonacci trading game, we must not forget everything else that we know. All right, that we have learned in trading, either uh, predictive uh, fractal pattern or area wave pattern or uh, divergence or anything else or market pattern or chart patterns. We shouldn't forget all this. All right, that's what I'm saying to you. Because very often when traders are using one uh, strategy, now we are talking about Fibonacci, traders will forget everything else. And sometimes they miss some, uh, op uh, some uh, information. You want to analyze it on, from different angle, all right. This is what I like to call multiple. Uh, this is what I like to call multi-talented trading. Professional are always aware of it. So though the price went up, it went in three moves so far. So the minimum price move is what free. So now, if it's going to reach the, this level, the red line here, so there's a high chance that he may pull back a bit, all right. And uh, if he's going to be truly bullish and uh, to achieve this target. Uh, you will be in five moves, so you'll be one, two, three, four, five. But I doubt it. Why I doubt it? Now, the reason why I doubt it is this. Let me explain to you. As long as, repeat, this is my warning line. As long as the price remains below the line that I'm drawing now, priority to sell signal. Why? Because this is uh, the highest high. Now, the price moves up to the highest high. If it fell to find a support above the highest high, what? We will look for opportunity to sell. Not only that, the move from here to the highest high is in three moves. So until that time, we will look for opportunity to sell. In fact, I've sold this uh, <laughs> currency pair uh, right now. Okay, I can show you on the 10 minute chart what is happening. Uh, in fact, I'll go to the five minute chart. You see, uh, it's ro it rolling down fast, very fast. I sold it uh, earlier today, and uh, it, nearly 60 pips very fast. Boom, 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 down. Easy trade, all right? All right, you see now? So when we are using, uh, Fib when we are using Fibonacci, we shouldn't forget everything else. But the, the point I want traders to remember this video, uh, because it's a very short video, I've got only three minutes left now, okay? So if the pr i got, in fact, two minutes left, Okay, so if the price, all right, if you are playing the Fibonacci game, we will use the market pattern. Very, very important, all right? So going back again to the, because I'm under pressure to, to, to remain below my 20 minutes, all right, you understand? So you see now, so all I say to you, now we have what we call uh, a butterfly pattern. That's the first thing coming to our mind, but the butterfly pattern is not completed. Why? Sometimes, as you can see, there are other Fibonacci pattern. For instance, the Gatley pattern. The retracement of A to B in relation to SA is 61.8. For one reason or another, sometimes the price will go above the 61.8. So by looking at the price and measuring it, we will see that it went above 61.8. And we will discount completely, all right? We will discount uh, uh, the Gatley pattern. But sometimes it's just because the price distorted. For the Gartley pattern, the, the target price is at 78.6% of the SA. For the bad pattern, the target is 88.6% levels of the SA. For the butterfly pattern, the target is 1, 6, 1 to 7%. Fibonacci extension of the SA. To play the Fibonacci trading game, one must not forget, okay, the other pattern. So if you think it's a Gatley pattern, do not forget the butterfly pattern, the bad pattern, and the crab pattern. That's the best way. So apart from the, the market pattern, in order to play the Fibonacci uh, trading game successfully, one must not ignore, okay, other Fibonacci pattern. So if you think it's a Gatley pattern, do not forget the other Fibonacci pattern. If you think it's a butterfly pattern, do not forget the other pattern. If you think it's a 50% retracement level, do not forget other key level, once it's 1%, other extension level. So to play successful the Fibonacci trading game, one must use, okay, the market pattern, and one must not ignore other Fibonacci pattern and other Fibonacci extension key level. 
I hope you have learned something from this video and will put it to use to make excellent decisions. Thank you for watching and we will speak to you very soon.